Chris Beatty has just about seen it all. His first opportunity as a coach, as a head man, was at North Stafford in Northern Virginia when he was only 23 years old. Since then, Beatty has won a state title in Virginia Beach while coaching one of the best players in state history, made a number of stops in the college ranks, and now is getting a shot at the big time. Nathan Epstein joins us with the story. Push to the top, get around the cone, edge break. After 23 years in the coaching business, Chris Beatty is getting his first crack at the NFL. Now as the receivers coach for the Los Angeles Chargers. I'm excited about it. You know, I think that's something you aspire to at some point in your career. That was Beatty 17 years ago when he was head man at Lanstown High School. His Eagles capped a perfect season with their only state championship. They are really good. I think they overcome some coaching in, in that deal. The star of that Eagles team, hard to forget the name, Percy Harvin, who scored five touchdowns in that title game, went on to win a national title at the University of Florida and a Super Bowl title with the Seattle Seahawks. He's a big part of the reason why I am where I am, you know, that those teams put a spotlight on me that, that you know, helped lead me to where I am. But he's... He's the best player I've ever seen. There you go. Give yourself a chance to see it. Beatty went on to coach at nine different Division I programs, including Maryland, Wisconsin, UVA, and most recently Pittsburgh. Didn't matter where he was, Beatty always brought in some of the top recruits Hampton Roads had to offer. But for the first time in 15 years, he won't have to worry about recruiting. I was talking to Mike Tomlin, and he was saying, you won't miss recruiting you won't, because you got your weekends off and you, you won't need two phones. And as it turns out, the Chargers might be getting one of the more innovative minds in the game. After all, the formation they call the Wildcat, Beatty was running with Harvin before anyone else knew what to call it. Maybe three, four years later when Arkansas started running it and everybody started calling it the Wildcat, and I remember laughing because I was like, well, we did that you know, four years ago. I know we were doing it way before it was, it was on television. One day, if the stars align, Beatty's hoping to call himself a head coach. Something that I've always uh, aspired to and, and hope someday that that will, that will come true. He's headed to L.A., but always calls Hampton Roads home. For the Sports Wrap, I'm Nathan Epstein.